Hey all, welcome to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of uh, how to become system administrator. In previous class of this playlist, we discussed about how to install Windows Server 2022, right? So now in today's session, I am going to guide you about the installation of uh, Active Directory Domain Services. How we can install ADDS in Server 2022? We'll also discuss about the prerequisites. Means what are the prerequisites in kind of uh, in terms of hardware, in terms of software, IP address management. So we'll discuss about the prerequisite of ADDS installation. And after that, I'll show you the each and every steps regarding the installing the installation of Active Directory Domain Services. So let me move ourselves to the screen to guide you. Uh, the steps that require to install ADDS. But before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without the skip any step. So now let me show you the screen and also I have already installed, you know that Windows Server 2022 is already installed in our VMware workstation. So same machine. Uh, this is our 2022. 20, uh, this is and by using the same computer, we are going to uh, install the ADDS. But before that, you also need to know about the prerequisite to install Active Directory Domain Services. Let me give you the complete information. Like this is Server 2022, right? The machine that we created with Server 2022. And if we talk about the RAM hardware, I used 8 GB of RAM. And in case of CPU, total two core of CPU available. And hard drive HDD space available up to 60 GB. And this is the hardware configuration. And if we talk about the another uh, uh, configuration required. So what you need to do, you must need to configure manual IP address, right? manual IP address that help us to manage the DNS name resolution plus prefer right prefer and alternate DNS IP address this is mandatory prefer and alternate DNS IP address this is required next another important part LAN card must be active the LAN must be connected with the cable and number next Another steps required minimum 20 gig free hard disk space, 20 gig uh, free hard disk space in operating system drive, in the OS drive, I'm talking about the C drive, at least contain 20 gig of free hard disk space that you can use to install the Active Directory Domain Services. All right, so let's proceed for the practical part. So our virtual machine is almost ready to use. And the virtual machine that I install, which is available in uh, uh, bridge connection because uh, we are using a VMware workstation. So my virtual machine is available on bridge connection. Let me check the default IP address provided by uh, our router, Wi-Fi router. So same IP address I'm going to use as a manual IP address because you also need to uh, configure prefer and alternate DNS IP address with the help of prefer and alternate DNS IP address we are able to uh, resolve with the name of DNS. So current IP address that I am getting 192.168.1.17 I am just going to open ncpa.cpl and it will redirect you on the page of our uh, ethernet then we just need to configure manual IP address. This is Ethernet part. I'm just going to open the properties of our uh, NIC card and configure manual IP address, right? Right click, go to the properties, IPv4, and you should provide the same IP address that uh, DSCP server provided us 192.168.1.17 and uh, gateway 192.168.1.1 and preferred in us 192.168. Uh, we need to configure preferred DNS IP address and alternate DNS and you must need to use the same IP address that you configure for your server machine. So 17 is our preferred IP address. We don't have alternate DNS. So that's why I'm going to proceed with 8.8.8. .8 .8. 
that's it you just need to save your ip address and very basic steps required to install acted acted domain services we'll also discuss about what is work of adds and uh, how adds machine can control multiple resources which are available in the infrastructure so let me open our server manager dashboard once you fulfill the requirement lan card is active configure manual ip address with prefer and alternate dns and we have enough space in c drive I'm going to click on the add role and features. This is the first step. Firstly, we just need to install the role and after that we'll promote the same role as a domain controller. Click next, next, next. And we are able to find ADDS. This is the type of role which is available uh, after Active Directory Certificate Services. We are able to find ADDS, Active Directory Domain Services. We just need to click next, next and install. <coughs> first step, install role. Second step, promote role. So both are totally different to each other and both are required to install active directory domain services. And uh, meanwhile, let me help you to understand about why organization need to set up their infrastructure with the help of ADDS. So let me give you one real time example. This is your office premises, right? This is your organization. And uh, you know that n number of clients or n number of other resources are available like printer, biometric device, right? CCTV camera, multiple database server, ESXi host, and number of devices, and number of uh, machines are available in the infrastructure. To control each and every machines, we must need to install one server operating system and server operating system must contain the feature of active active domain services. All the systems, right, all the machines are connected directly to the, the, the switch, it is a mediator and let us try to understand about active directory right so if we talk about the history of active directory so in year of 1995 microsoft introduced one server operating system considered as a nt server nt server is the first ntfs based uh, formatted based operating system that help us to in, uh, create the security for our uh, folder create the security for our client machine as well once you uh, install the active directory domain services active directory is a type of centralized control uh, it's a service that helps us to uh, provide the centralized control that helps us to manage the number of resources that you implemented in the environment. So once we create our ADDS, we are going to create users, we are going to manage groups, right? And um, uh, you can also configure kind of policy, you can manage uh, organizational unit. So these objects and containers are applicable to manage and control the number of resources that you implemented in the organization. So this is the agenda. Installation completed and we are able to find promote this server to the domain controller. Just need to click here. It will give us a three different option. Add a domain controller to an existing domain. We don't have any existing domain. We don't have any kind of uh, existing forest. That is why you need to proceed with the first uh, add a new forest. Type the name of your domain controller. I am going to type with name of cloud.com. Click next. No need to do anything. It will redirect us on this another page and that help us to like as a manage the active, active domain services. Installation is in progress and this is another panel where we can find multiple option. Domain name system which is DNS mandatory. You must need to make it DNS. GC mandatory because global catalog can help us to log in our client machine with the help of active directory user rodc we we don't have authority we don't have option to make it rodc because you are trying to create a parent domain controller or primary domain controller D, dsrm password directory service restore mode dsrm password can help you to restore your computer from the system state backup actually the server operating system contain three types of backup full backup file and folder backup kind of system state backup and bare metal backup file and folder backup consider as it to, to to protect the folder file document any kind of document that you want to protect then file and folder backup come into the picture second option is related to the system state backup the responsibility of system state backup can help us to uh, protect uh, active directory domain services only adds uh, user object and uh, group policy any kind of group policy that you establish then uh, uh, system state backup can help us to protect and the another important part bare metal backup which is responsible to protect the whole operating system 
Unfortunately, if the hard disk is damaged or any problem occurred with our operating system, if we have already taken the backup for system uh, bare metal, then definitely we are able to revert back our entire operating system. So, currently need to provide password of DSRM that help us to restore our machine from the DSRM backup, system state backup, next, no need to do anything. NetBIOS name which is really helpful to convert our machine from workgroup to domain. If any machine that you that available in workgroup format and you are trying to make it member of domain controller then uh, Net, uh, NetBIOS can help us to convert our machine from workgroup to domain. Proceed with next. Next again, next again and we need to proceed for the another step. It is in progress because it will check all the prerequisites. We are on page of prerequisites. Everything, if everything is okay, the entire prerequisite you provided successfully, then definitely it will redirect us on another page, guys. So these all steps required to install Active Directory domain services in Server 2022. And once we ready with the Active Directory service, we are going to uh, discuss about the objects, number of objects, and containers. All good. Prerequisite passed. We just need to click on install and it will take up to 3 to 5 minutes and install our Active Directory services. I hope you guys are okay with the installation process. So, once we are ready with that, we are going to discuss about the objects and container. In the Active Directory domain services, we must need to know about the work of objects and container. So, let us connect in another class and discuss more about the ADDS and system administrator services. Take care guys. Bye bye and do subscribe. You are on